Hello friends, welcome to Mizora again, your one-stop solution to learn problem solving methodologies and tools to solve real life business problems. Right? Today I'm going to talk to you uh, not about some tools but a question I face everywhere. So it's regarding a Six Sigma certification. Right? Why I'm telling you all uh, it's here is let's say certification. Right? So why I'm I have included this in my uh, uh, video is because I get questions related to Six Sigma and Six Sigma is one of the problem solving methodologies when I follow this. So that's that's the reason, right? So so I get questions on from where should I do, right? Where from where should I get my uh, Six Sigma green belt or black belt? right why should i get it so I'll, I'll give you an overview how i assess any institute or i would assess any institutes and uh, based on that you can assess any request which is coming to you and then uh, you can decide on your own right so so let's take uh, the factors i would consider so uh, let's take first factor obviously is the cost right how much it would charge, uh, how much the uh, organization will charge me for a green belt or for a black belt certification. I am not going to tell you any any names here, this brand you should go or that brand you should go because I don't endorse any brand. You can decide on your own where you have to go, right? The cost for a green belt, uh, uh, I have seen it from starting from 10k in India and going up to even 25 to 30k uh, this is indian rupees inr i am saying right and for black belt i have seen it uh, uh, for about 30000 to about even 80000 also right so it depends on your your comfort what what you want to have right the next is duration right the duration of the program so normally a green belt uh, it it is given in india up to three to five days and black belt uh, six to about even 20 days i have seen right so this is for green belt this is for black belt right and if, if you feel anything, anything which is uh, not matching here or you have some more information, please comment, please comment in the comment section and uh, that would be helpful for everyone to know, right? So cost, duration, then along with the duration, we are talking about what type of training, right? Type, I mean, is it a online or is it... Uh, classroom training right what is ilt instruction led training we call classroom training right or it's a blended so both online plus classroom i always prefer class classroom training because of various other factors where you get to interact with people more you get to interact with uh, your trainer your mentor uh, one to one so that is always uh, uh, feasible but there are blended models available where it's online plus classroom training right so that's the type uh, along again another factor with uh, along with, in the training is the content right so what type of content the certification or the training agency is providing you right so suppose normally the PPT, which is the PowerPoint presentation, which is shared, it is normally shared with the uh, students, but this should not be the end of it. You must ask for another learner's guide. It is not a PDF book or something. It is, it is not a PDF book, which is from some different publisher. This learner's guide has to be in line with PPT. So when you see a slide in this PPT, you refer to a page here in the LG and understand later what it was right uh, plus resources resources I mean uh, 
this resources can be of case studies right different lots of case studies along with the case studies your uh, mini tab mpj mini tab or xls files for the case studies backup data so that you understand later right uh, then uh, i think that's it pretty much that then the next so what can go wrong here is they uh, the training organization can share you lots of pdf pdf uh, free books which is available free of cost in the web and but that's not the lg right that's not the lg so i charge you 5000 rupees uh, doesn't mean anything as long as i don't share a lg with you i don't share a ppt and lots of resources and sample papers also let's write down here sample papers right so this is how you can evaluate the training duration type content then let's take the trainer always ask who is this trainer right take his profile right suppose you are working in the service industry for the last 10 years or in manufacturing for the last 10 years so the trainer must have experience in this service or manufacturing and not as a trainer it is always preferable to have someone as a trainer who would have completed his own black belt training a uh, black, black belt training plus projects right so completed projects so go to linkedin check his profile what he was right so uh, uh, that's on the trainer so cost duration type uh, a type of uh, training then content then the trainer right uh, the next is on the body itself who is the certification body to evaluate just google and search for the name of the certification body plus some keywords like reviews right you will get so many so many you know reviews on the certification agency whatever you are searching for the age of the certification agency age i mean to say how many years they have been in the business right then what they do what they do do they only provide certification do they organize events also so that it's beneficial for their alumni to interact and you know interact and know more knowledge do they have a renewal certification program do they have training how what they do how big is that what is the authentication of this certification agency right so all this thing the certification body it can be new or no issues but they should be only committed towards providing and improving the uh, uh, training uh, of six sigma and related fields right uh, now uh, another another key area can be here the location also this is up to you means you can travel any other city and take your training program but i would prefer it in my city morning to evening i can go and you know, so location is another issue where it is happening if it's for metro cities even you can check where is the training center right i evaluate all these things so right so this is one next is the let's write support also right what support would you need uh, in the future right the first one is verification right suppose you are going you are going for a interview and that organization has a employee verification process then they might send a mail to this certification body the certification body from where you have done your uh, green belt or black belt asking them whether this candidate has done black belt from your institute or not right so in in that case you have to they have to respond right do they have that support for you right and it would be throughout life right so do they have that support how do they verify credentials of different employees right so that that support you have to find out the next one is um, support in terms of project uh, completion six sigma is all about projects right it's about practical using the tools in a practical real time environment right so what project support they offer you 
just for your understanding if i have to evaluate one project two times it takes about 5 hours for me 